Hi everyone, this is Ajay again with another video and in this video we are going to see how to um, uh, communicate between TVAC and Arduino using SPI and um, uh, you, you, you can see in my channel I have uh, already published a video on uh, SPI communication between two Arduino, uh, two Arduinos uh, and then uh, we have an uh, I2C communication between uh, TVAC and um, um, Arduino and uh, in this video uh, we are going to see SP uh, communication between um, uh, Tivasi and Arduino. Uh, let's uh, get into it and uh, here you have the connections to be made. Uh, we have our Tivasi TM4C123GH6PM which is the SPA master and uh, Arduino you can have Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano whatever you have and uh, you can connect it accordingly. So now I am using Arduino Uno and uh, you can see the pins where, which is here clock, uh, slave select and MOSA and uh, uh, ground and similarly we will have to use PA2 which is clock and uh, this is uh, our SS slave select and we have uh, the SSI TX and uh, then ground. So these are the communication we will have to uh, sorry the connections we have to make and then um, uh, let's uh, get into Code Composer Studio and uh, uh, we'll um, use the Devaware library functions to um, um, uh, perform this. So here, um, here uh, you can see um, I have a certain uh, code um, which is uh, like uh, using the APIs of um, the Devaware. And before that, uh, to set up this project, I've already um, published a, a video on how to set up a simple project in uh, um, CCS uh, for especially for Tivasi Launchpad. And uh, you can go through it and then come to the come here if you have not um, uh, if you are not aware of how to create a project. And um, after uh, this, you will have to add these header files. Uh, you can see the basic header files in .h, bool .h. And now we have ssi.h, uh, hardware types.h, and uh, then we have uh, another uh, um, that is, uh, these are the basics like M M map, assist, assist control, and pin map, debug, GPIOs. And here we have another header file that is ssi.h, and uh, these are very important. Like we will have to add this uh, to use this API properly, and or else you will not be able to get the output. So next, uh, what uh, what is happening here is you can see I have uh, used a character point where you have a, um, a text uh, like you ha can have a string or a character here, and um, now um, we will be using it as a data, and now um, um, we have another variable LED equal to zero just to indicate uh, there's a transmission I'm using an uh, uh, LED uh, here on launchpad. And then we have the basic uh, system control uh, where we are going to use the system clock uh, that is the main oscillator clock and then uh, we, uh, the GPIO F that is for LED which is to be configured so we are going to enable the peripheral or uh, GPIO for port F and then uh, then we have um, the uh, configuration that is we are going to uh, use that is pin 1, 2 and 3 are mapped to LEDs on launchpad that is port F so we are using port F base here and then um, we have um, 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 system control peripheral enable here. This is uh, system control peripheral uh, enable. We are enabling GPIO A because here uh, we, uh, you saw the connections before where uh, the SSI connection. We here we call this as SSI serial uh, synchronous interface, and uh, those are actually uh, mapped to GPIO port A. Um, so uh, we have our PA two that is SSI zero uh, clock and SSI 0 FSS and then you have SSI 0 TX and these are the pins we are going to use we are not going to use RX we are going to uh, only see a transmission here in this uh, video and then um, uh, we have to um, make this pin type to be configured as um, um, SSI and then uh, we are using these pins so there is like GPIO, um, GPIO pin 5 that is A5, A3 and A2 so those are configured then after that we enable uh, the peripheral uh, like similarly for a uh, GPIO port uh, we are enabling the um, synchronous series interface uh, peripheral and then after that um, uh, we are checking whether the SSI module is ready that is whether it is busy and if it is ready uh, we can uh, we can go for the configuration uh, this is like uh, you can just um, um, keep your cursor here and you can see the arguments passed here, here is the base address and then your uh, clock SSA clock and then uh, protocol and um, the mode that is whether it is a master mode or a slave mode we will uh, discuss about protocol I will show you what is it 
and then the bit rate that is uh, it supports uh, approximately like uh, 2 megahertz and then the data width uh, whether it is 8 bit or 16 bit wide so um, this has to be configured and then uh, here you can see that is SSA mode master so this is going to be the TWAS launchpad is going to be the TWAS uh, TM4C123 GH6 frame is going to be the master and then um, we are enabling the SSA module uh, once all the configuration are uh, done then we can enable the SSA module and then uh, we are placing the data that is SSA data put function helps you to place the data that is uh, uh, we have uh, only one uh, character here that is a and so we are using um, val of zero and so this is like a pointer uh, then uh, um, we have uh, led which is to be just toggled when um, whenever a data is sent it keep, keeps on toggling and um, uh, so after, uh, this is like when we we are going to just send a character a which is going to be received on the, the audio um, and we are going to observe it on the serial console um, so we are sending a character a for, um, uh, from TYC launchpad to Arduino board and uh, we will be observing um, the output now and before that we will be just uh, I will show you what is this um, protocol that is here you can see that is FRF moto mode 0 and all and uh, basically these are APIs if you want to go look into the registers you can have your data sheet uh, TM4C123GH6PM's data sheet and uh, here uh, you can have the uh, you can see the basic um, features that is it's like pro programmable uh, data frame sizes for 4 to 16 bits and your master slave operation FIFO size is uh, 16 bit wide or 8 uh, locations deep and then yeah, you have a programmable interface operation freescale SPA microwire that is what is the protocol here so that can be seen here it is like um, so you can see the pin maps it's like we have uh, SSI 0, 1, 2 and 3 we have uh, 4 uh, SSI module and uh, then uh, we have the bitrate uh, calculations and that is taken care by the API and um, here you can see uh, the bit rates are supported to 2, me 2 megahertz and higher um, then um, you can uh, configure all those things in uh, the appropriate registers like you can see the, uh, the registers page number is mentioned here and uh, so you have another uh, register which is a 9 uh, that is SSI CPSR register and those configurations can be done there and uh, here um, this is the frame formats we were discussing uh, about the protocol that is our argument here we have a texas instrument uh, synchronous serial free scale spa mode and uh, uh, micro wire mode we will see which uh, mode are we using so here uh, about this uh, it is said that it is uh, specified in the ssi csr zero register and you can click the register map here and you can uh, go to ssi csr which is 966 and here we can see frf and under FRF, uh, I'll zoom it a little, and uh, you can see here you have frame format that is uh, zero mode zero, and then mode one, and then my, uh, mode two. So we can accordingly configure. So this is what uh, is the configuration there, which is said to be um, at the um, protocol, and then um, once it is done. Uh, I think uh, you can uh, understand the other uh, things here that is mode master and uh, I have used here 1 megahertz instead of 2 megahertz and then 8 bit wide uh, uh, then um, that, that is the data data width and the bit rate uh, which we, are, uh, we were discussing now and then uh, the code is ready now we can uh, just uh, try to build the code and uh, check for the, any uh, errors So now what I'm going to do is I have connected my uh, uh, launchpad uh, to my PC and uh, I'm going to click on debug. And now, now you can click the resume button here. And then I have my Arduino um, ID and I have the uh, SPA code, uh, receiver code uh, uh, running that is a slave code uh, running on Arduino and this is already explained in my another video um, that is um, SPA communication between uh, two Arduino boards and uh, now you can click on the serial monitor that is connect, uh, Arduino is connected to COM4 
and uh, we are sending a uh, character a from launchpad and uh, that is being received um in the um uh, like you can see it is received in audino and we are able to see it in serial console so this is how you uh, just transmit um, um, uh, data from Tivasi. Uh, that is like how to make a simple SPA configuration and send a simple a single character or even if you want to um, send a string you can uh, st um, use a string there instead of uh, character A and then accordingly you'll have to increment the pointer. So um, I think I've explained it uh, um, well. So if you have any other doubt you can see and uh, like uh, you can just uh, comment below um, uh, and uh, then uh, we can look into more uh, similar codes um, this is what i wanted to tell you in this video we'll meet in another video thank you thanks a lot